Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears. Last time we did a whole bunch of cutscenes and figured out our plan of attack. This time, for the first time I think ever, we have control of Satan. And we get to talk to old Mason here. Doesn't know the capital very well. That's kind of unfortunate. Tried my best to raise him as a crowned prince. The crowned prince of crime? No. Well, maybe. That would be a lot to handle. I definitely don't believe that, Mason. No, oh, he's even a lord now. Taken the burden off of himself had he not wanted to bear it any longer. Well, I guess that makes sense. given him the strength to do so. Well, that's nice. These two, anytime they have conversations, it's always kind of funny. Anyway, let's pick up uh, some other things. I'm going to grab three of those. And five more of those. And what else? Megasols. I haven't used any yet, so I think I'm good there. Pretty much all I need to do here. I don't think he, he doesn't have any new equipment. It's the same stuff that he had before. Anyway, in order to progress, we need to head out onto the deck. Even though they haven't really told us that. Kind of weird. Fast forward. And head up here. There's nobody in the bridge. Well, there are people in the bridge, but nobody who can advance the plot. And we have a nice little uh, conversation here. Tomorrow is the first return of the castle in tw 12 years. He was in the castle, what, a couple of days ago during this quest? He infiltrated the castle! <laughs> kind of a weird way of putting it. Guess I'm going to be the king. Not very suited to it, am I? You'll get used to it. What? Doesn't matter who the king is, as long as it's not Shikan, right? It's a symbol of hope. Doesn't have to be me. Now we get some music. Kidnapped by Slorus and brainwash used for human guinea pig. We kind of heard that already. But even they couldn't erase my desire to return home. I remembered you and Margaret. Not just as royalty, but as normal children. I don't care about rebuilding a dynasty. I want to regain, regain the kingdom because it belongs to you. It's your home. It's an interesting interpretation on it. You almost never get that when rebel groups are trying to retake their castle. They want to get rid of the evil oppressive empire and get their power back, right? Or, you know, they just want peace and want to be left alone either way. They don't usually have this kind of interpretation on it, which is pretty cool. They just want home back. Well, maybe they do more often than I'm thinking right now. I'm sure there's a few uh, instances that someone will think of in the comments. A bath? What? You don't look like a king. Didn't you just say that he didn't have to be? You must have a noble appearance. That is that, and this is this. Now go take a bath. The hell is with this game? <laughs> that one thought was all it took for you to regain yourself. Hmm. Satan is impressed. That moon is still ominous. And... The moon faded into the moon? That's kind of weird. Well, that's just a limitation of it, because we're fading from an image of the moon to a completely different scene, so they had to... They're depicting people in bed in a JRPG. Two people. Not one. Two. That's new. And we're getting the same flashback here. Who is this guy? 
And how is he able to uh, take down gears so easily? Like, I know we can take down gears, but like weak gears, and it takes like three or four attacks. This guy's one shotting everything. Oh, we didn't get this part of the scene last time. Oh, so Ramses wasn't in one of those gears. Graf was there. Of course he was. So what kind of connection does Graf have to uh, this other guy? And what is that? It's like a blood red gear. Oh no. He destroyed gears with his bare hands. He has a gear now. Yeah, he's going to obliterate everything. Um, we have blue eyes, which is different, but uh, I guess they're still supposed to be kind of like demon eyes. Ow, that was loud. Um, they all go right. Oh, hell! What are you doing? And for whatever reason, we get weird choices for random uh, inserts of voice acting. Some of them are translated, and some of them aren't. By the way, some of them they, especially if they're just sound effects, they'll leave the original Japanese ones in, and they won't bother translating them. You can tell the difference between the voices. But look at that! Miang is sleeping with her superiors. She knows how to get uh, forward in the military, apparently. By any means necessary. Apparently he's going to uh, go take a leak or something. Wash his face. Who's peeping? Graf. Oh, she knew. She wasn't just making some absent-minded claim about him being handsome. She knew exactly who he was. Resembles you? No, he doesn't. Faye looks nothing like this weird freak. Oh? What ministry? Ministry of Darkness? No, 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 that belongs in the 90s. You stay out of this. Oh, I see the news has already reached you. As usual, you're the first to hear about everything. Don't worry, I won't steal your prized possession. I'll cooperate. Besides, you and I go back a long way. How long do they go back? Is that like her ex or something? Like, that's weird. What's up? Thought I caught some unnatural sound. Near the capital, probably just some kind of ship from there. It's not from the surface, it's from under the sand. It's the only sand cruiser in all of Ave, and considering Kislev is not even in the desert, I don't think they have one either. Try and confirm what it is. Can't catch it again. Could have been a sand whale, seriously, game. We have sand whales in this game. How does that even work? Like, I'll give this game a pass on a submarine that goes through sand because of techno babble, but a living creature being able to swim in sand? No, no. That that's where I draw the line. That's BS. <laughs> On the surface layer, detecting sounds of anchors being weighed in and engines being activated. Defense fleet must be departing. So we were able to do it. Nice. Requesting immediate backup from the royal capital. Looks like we've really raised some hell at the border. Nice. Want to hide the ship. Don't want... Uh, to get in the way, or to get captured, or destroyed.
Oh, I forgot. I didn't think we had this many cutscenes before we finally got uh, back into the field. Said to be an elite from Jugend. Jugend, whatever it is. Turn single handedly from the Kislev infiltration operation. And empty hand. <laughs> Not the soldier type. Is that how you address a superior officer? Remember your rank. Oh, scary. Oh, that guy's name is Rank. We don't care much for rank, and we don't care much for rank either. Of course you don't. <laughs> I doubt that was there in the original version, unless somehow two words uh, lined up. That was probably just put in in the translation. And it works. That's funny. This jerk's just jealous. And, of course, we have the pretty boy of the group. We have the guy who doesn't care. We have the, I don't know, the grumpy guy. And who's the other one there? Ah, well, there was one other one. I don't remember uh, what his uh, spiel was. Never seen it before. It's a new model gear called the Vierge. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. It's probably French. If I'm... I always just make guesses. It's probably this language. Close enough. <laughs> it's what happens when your vocabulary of uh, foreign words is uh, next to nothing. No ability. Looks like fun. Let's see what she can do. I remember this song being faster. I, I was actually testing out this uh, that sequence there. I was just going through there to test out what happens here. And it didn't go any faster without the recording on. So it's not my, uh, my recording software locking it at 30 frames per second that's changing that. I just, I remember it sounding faster than that. It just sounds really slow. Anyway, let's, uh, let's jump around up here for a little bit. Around here, we actually have... Uh, access with just Faye for a while. So just make sure your gear is uh, set the way you want it to. I'm pretty good right there. And there's going to be a lot of stuff around here. Uh, I don't want to go over there. I want to go up here. Can I? Thank you. Uh, not that way. There are a lot of battles around here. Most of them with enemies we've already fought before, such as this guy. But uh, there's not a whole lot uh, that they can do against us this time around because, of course, you know, we've gained quite a few levels and a lot more power. And, yeah, we can take these guys down in two shots now. No challenge at all. Uh, I'm not going to fight most of these enemies. I'll probably run from a lot of them because there's no real need to fight them. So jump up there, then you want to head... Okay, we got a new enemy. I'll show him up. I was going to say we head over that chest, but this guy can drop a fang, I think, or a scale if you're lucky. Uh, scales sell for a whole bunch more. Fangs don't sell for very much at all. But again, uh, an X attack followed by a level 1 death blow, and he falls down. Not a whole lot to worry about. Yeah, we got a fang. No money, though. Would have been nice if you got money from him as well. And here we get a magnetic coat. Now, I believe... Other one? There's another treasure chest around here, and I think it's kind of right above? No. Oh, I must have... Uh, I must have uh, missed it there. It. Uh, there is another treasure chest around here, and I do want to make sure I get it. Anyway, from here... No, it's too far down. I want to go over here. Yeah, I didn't get the uh, lower one first. Now I need to get back up to where I was. Which is over... Over here somewhere. Nope. Unfortunately, the trek up is annoying to do multiple times. So let's just go over here. Do note that if you're... Um, do I want to go over here? No, I don't. If you're trying to get places and you're uh, falling down a lot, it's probably because the... Uh, you're getting into a battle as you're trying to jump, so just kind of be aware of that. There are two more treasure chests in here as well, and unfortunately, 
unfortunately, there's uh, you can't turn the camera all the way, even though you probably want to. Okay, there we go. So let's just jump up here and make this jump. Nope. Let's try that again. Unfortunately, some of the jumps around here are rather difficult to make, even if you're not running into battles. All right, so pop up here. Now, there is treasure around here somewhere. Ah, there's one of them. And nope. So let's grab it. The encounter rate around here sucks balls. Rather annoying. Go over here. Now, from here, probably want to be up on there. Make that jump. Go up here and grab the, uh, the final treasure in here, a gold nugget, which is nice. Always nice to have one of those. Make this jump over here. Pop up there. Okay, I'm back. And that was about a half an hour break as it froze on me twice during this section where it just paused as soon as I came out of battle and then wouldn't unpause no matter what I did. So I had to reload and do this whole thing all over again. Thank God for fast forward. But uh, yeah, for whatever reason, it, it never happened to me last time I played through this section. So it's weird. And even when I went and tested through here, I didn't have that issue. So anyway, there's a repair bot at the top here. You definitely want to uh, make sure you heal up here and, uh, Let's see character items. I don't think he's got anything of value here. No, not really. I don't need any of that junk. You need to don't not talk so much before going into your inventory. I don't need to have a conversation with my shop before I go and actually shop. I don't think you should say can't trust you. I think he actually disappears if you do that. I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, I definitely think that's the case so yeah de definitely don't the guy the stuff that this guy sells is um pretty much what we've already had access to so it doesn't really matter however this is an important point magnetic coats and i just got one in a chest in this area will no longer be sold after this point so if you want to grind for some money which unfortunately if you're doing it here you're not going to get a lot of money because very few of the enemies around here actually drop money um, you're kind of out of luck. So if you want to buy them, buy them now. If not, you're not going to be able to get them for quite some time. Um, however, it is quite a ways away, and I think by the time we can do it, we can also buy them. But you will eventually be able to get them as drops. So if that's the case, uh, I will... Uh, I will show you at the earliest point we can get them, and uh, we'll be doing them at that point. That's also a super good way of making money at that point in the game, since, of course, you know, you buy them for 4000 you can also sell them for that amount as well. Now, we have the magnetic coat. Yeah, we sell it for 2000 That's nice. So, let's sell a couple of those, because I don't need that. And the AC unit, I don't think I really need right now, but I'll keep it. Yeah, you know what? I'm not. I'm never gonna use it. It doesn't matter. We have response circuits now. I won't be equipping any of that junk on there. Yeah, but make sure you don't send him away. You definitely want him to be here. You're gonna want to heal both before and after the upcoming uh, fight. So now I do want to make a couple of changes here. Let's put on the magnetic coat, which gives me an extra five. So I have 65 response paired with my. Uh, paired with my base uh, evade stat of 14. Now, one thing to note is your defense and your power stat when you're in your character does not affect either of those corresponding stats in your gear. However, your evade percentage, your ether attack power, your ether defense power, and your agility, and your hit percentage all carry over. So... I would highly recommend if you're preparing for a difficult fight to equip appropriate items to help you with that. So adding a little bit of a fade couldn't hurt as well as, um, oh, where is it? The anti-ether stone for some additional ether defense. Now there is another way of going about this fight. Uh, well, one of them, there's a, a boss gauntlet coming up basically. Um, only the, f the first enemies use beam attacks, but you could use the beam coat and equip that on the gear and then use the ether Veiler, which I think you can actually sell for quite a bit of money. I might end up doing that because I didn't use this at all during my last playthrough. 
but uh, you could try and do that. However, the hardest of the enemies won't be affected by beam, or you won't need beam defense against the hardest of the enemy, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's only the first one and doesn't really matter all that much. Um, so I'm just going to go for the maximum evade setup, which will help me in more of the fights than just the one fight. So yeah, I would, yeah, it doesn't really matter. There's nothing else we can really do. I don't use ether attack, so I don't need to up my ether. Yeah, I just want to up my, uh, I could up my attack, my hit percentage, but yeah, it's only two. Just basically I throw those on and get kind of prepped up. Um, one thing you may want to do is get out of your gear and learn Hoten. Uh, I probably won't. I, I'll, I'll try it. I think the enemies around here will probably kick my ass if I did that, but I'll try it uh, briefly there and see if I can, uh, against maybe one of the weaker enemies, I'll try and do that. And uh, there's a repair bot around here, which is pretty weak. Uh, it just If you hit him, he uh, dies pretty much in one shot, but he can restore your HP and your fuel if... Uh, he attacks you. He can also deal a little bit of damage, but not much. Anyway, that's pretty much all the time I have for this episode. So, yeah, that's my setup for the upcoming area. I'm going to save, and I'll see you guys next time.